Good afternoon and welcome to the Notre Dame Football Pro Day Media Day. We have Aaron Banks up first. As a reminder, please use the raise hand function if you have a question, and that's how we'll get you queued up. Up first, we're going to go to Josh Allen with the Bucks report. Go ahead, Josh, with your questions. Hey, Aaron, how are we doing today? I'm doing good. Good to hear. I just want to ask you, who have you kind of leaned on through this process? You know, former players, uh, former Notre Dame players, uh, someone who's gone through the, the pro day, the pre-draft process. Who have you kind of looked towards for advice? And um, have you had any communications with the Buccaneers leading up to the draft? Um, yeah, I got a chance to meet with them at the Senior Bowl. Um, and as far as somebody to lean on, I talked to uh, Sam Mustafer a lot. Um, he's somebody that I played next to and have a really good relationship with. Up next, we'll go to Tyler James. Go ahead, Tyler. Hey, Aaron. I was curious uh, on your thoughts of what it, what went into your decision to not return to Notre Dame and if you had any interest in potentially trying to play tackle for another year in college before going to the, the NFL. Uh, yeah, um, I did have um, some interest in that. If I would have came back, I would have been the left tackle. Um, but I talked to a lot of people. Um, I asked a lot of questions. Um, and, you know, a lot of former players on what they would do if they were in my position. And um, the consensus came back to that I should leave. Um, three of the guys that I've played with for the last three years um, were leaving. So I felt like it was time, my time to depart with them. And then we up next, we have Danilo. Go ahead. Hey, Aaron. Danilo from Brazil. How are you doing? I'm good. Man, you're strong and explosive, but what do you think can still improve to reach the next level as a playmaker? Um, I think just becoming a more polished player, um, just, you know, be a little more consistent with my technique. And, um, yeah, that's what I see for myself. Um, I've taken some time in the offseason to um, trim up and kind of um, tighten my body up and, um, it's kind of shown over the last few weeks, so, um, yeah. Up next, we have Matthias Ornelas. Uh, Aaron, here's Matthias from Time Out uh, podcast. Congratulations for going for the, <clears throat> the NFL draft. Uh, you have the, the, the pro day for show, the senior bowl, and this is like really good chance for talking with the NFL coach and, and learn a lot. What do you think that was most valuable for you on this, the senior board opportunity and the pro, do, pro day opportunity? Um, just senior board is getting a chance to play against um, some really good competition and prove that, you know, I'm one of the better offensive linemen in this draft. Um, and then being able to be around um, an NFL coaching staff and go through a week with them was, you know, very valuable to me. Um, and on the pro day, just getting a chance to, you know, test well and show that, you know, I'm, I move well and I'm a big, strong guy. Thank you. Good luck. Up next, we have Tyler James. Hey, Aaron. I saw that you're participating in the Uplifting Athletes Reps for Rare Diseases campaign. What does it mean to you to be a part of that, and why did you decide to do that? Um, yeah, up, up, Uplifting Athletes has um, – done some stuff with ND over the past um, few years um, and Brock Wright actually reached out to me and asked me if I'd want to be involved with it, involved in it and I, I said yes very quickly because um, it's something that you know it's um, you know really important for myself and my family and a lot of people um, that support Notre Dame. And Aaron I believe that is the final question so thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, no problem.